It's, it's not the first time. Um, but for whatever reason, um, I rejected the possibility of playing him before in my career. I suppose it has to do with the fact that I am from the same place where he was born, this sense of responsibility, playing a character that was bigger than life and that I, I idolize completely. And so I, uh, you know, I, I, it was not until Ron Howard and Gen National Geographic came on that I thought, okay, this <laughs> there is no escape from this. With these guys, I have to just jump on the pot and do it. Yeah. Did it also have to do with not making a telling his story in an hour and twenty minutes or an hour and forty minutes Two. rather than like multiple episodes? Two. That's one because I've, I have done very little television, and you discover when you do television that for a biopic actually is better. Um, it's a better tool than the movies. Movies probably are better for an event. There are masterful people, uh, careful that in two hours they can tell very much about a personality. But uh, 10 hours give you the possibility of getting into all the complexities and, and, and the depth of the, the human soul of a character like this. Definitely. What is it about Picasso that, you're, that you were most drawn to or was the thing that you latched on the most, to the most as an actor? Yeah. Well, as an artist, uh, you know, the possibility of exploring of a guy who actually went from an style to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, Picasso has many painters in one, and all of them were good, and all of them you can recognize Picasso. In the artistic side, you know, it's un unquestionable, obviously. The, the personal side of him was a mystery uh, for me, a little bit. Um, what I've discovered about this character that I think is very interesting is how independent he is. The strength that he has to don't marry, even if he married twice, to don't marry with anybody. He married with Picasso. And that um, can be very good and that can be very bad. So there are some collateral damages that he left behind and that affected people, you know. He's, uh, I've been saying that many times these days, but uh, he's uh, almost like a, a very strong, big planet with a tremendous gravity and sometimes people got satellites in that orbit and it was almost impossible to live. You know. Fly too close to his son. Definitely.